Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're going to smoke a whole chicken and keep that crispy skin that everybody likes. So be sure and stick around. <laughs> All right, folks, what we have here is a whole chicken. Very easy to find. Pick it up at any grocery store. We're just gonna dry this guy off to give us a good start on crispy skin. Just take a paper towel and blot it dry. Nothing to it. Any straggler pieces like that, chop it off. Make sure you have a sharp knife, of course. I like this particular brand myself. We got all the weird stuff out of the cavity of the chicken. Livers, and necks, and whatever else, whatever else goes in there. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. Now here you have a choice. You can do, you know, you can quarter it, uh, you could spatchcock it, or you can just leave it whole. I'm just gonna leave it whole today. What I am gonna do is hit it with some canola oil. That's gonna help the crispy skin form. And we'll get the other side too. Today we're going with Wright's Barbecue Rub. Good barbecue flavors, and not too heavy on the salt. It's pretty already. Isn't that right, Mr. Chicken? Pat it in real nice and even. Don't forget those little flappers. Alrighty. Nothing to it. I don't like that. Let's cut that off. And that, my friends, is a perfectly seasoned chicken, in my opinion. We're gonna roll with it, even if it's not perfect. Today, we're rolling with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal and a few chunks of cherry wood. All right, everybody. You know I like to use these little fire starters. They're really easy, uh, no harmful chemicals. I mean, these things are great. All you gotta do, We'll use about that much cherry wood. You don't want to use too much wood on poultry. It can get over smoked pretty easily. And we don't want that. All right, once that gets up to about 300 degrees, we will return. All right, folks, we got that chicken put on the Blaze Kamado. We're not running a diffuser plate or anything like that. Just going straight over the coals and we'll be back when it's about ready. All right, folks, I went ahead and flipped the chicken about halfway through the cook uh, just to get more even cooking. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick because the hogs are only down by uh, one point to Gonzaga right now in the Sweet 16. So let's go take a look at that chicken and see where we are. All right, folks, we are at an internal temp of 166. So I think it's time to pull this chicken and let it rest. It's got a great golden color to it, uh, smoke flavor. You can just smell it coming off the grill. And uh, it looks about perfect. You can see where the skin is splitting right there. So that's usually a good indicator. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's crispy skin, just what we're looking for. So we're gonna take this guy off the grill, get it on the cutting board, and I'll see you there. Hey, all right, y'all, I'm so excited. So the hogs are up by one point right now, going into halftime. Uh, I, can, I need to let this chicken rest for a little bit before we slice into it. We don't want to slice into it and just have all the juices pour out on the cutting board. Plus, my wife's on her way home, so we want to make sure that she has a hot meal when she arrives. So go hogs, and we'll be right back. All right, folks, I can't wait anymore. This smells absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to go ahead and take this leg. That thing just comes right off there. Let's get that little joint and cut through there. Oh. <laughs> I'd say it's tender. Well, that's one way to do it. Man, just juicy as can be. Delicious. Gotta give it a taste test, of course. Smoky, tender, juicy, everything you want. Pop that guy right off. There we go. This is so tender, it's just kind of falling apart. Little leg for those that like that kind of stuff. Crispy. Man, there's nothing really to this. Um, getting the crispy skin, everybody thinks it's hard to do. It's really not. Um, 
there's a lot of different ways to go about it. Some people will uh, do a salt brine. So they'll dry the chicken off, right? Get rid of the moisture and then uh, put it on a, uh, on a rack, on a cooking rack and just put salt all over it, put it in the fridge and that kind of uh, draws all the moisture out of the skin and then they'll you know cook it at a high temperature just like we did today i skipped that step i find it unnecessary i've done it both ways and to me it's just not worth the extra time but to each their own on that kind of thing um, you do how you want to do it so this turned out great um, as you can see i mean it's just pulling apart it's tender smoky juicy everything you want a chicken all right guys that wraps up our chicken cook for the day so just a short recap, what we did is we took a whole uh, chicken, we patted it dry, you know, it's always good to get rid of all the moisture uh, as much as you can anyway. Then we hit it with some canola cooking oil and then we rubbed it with some, uh, some Wright's uh, barbecue rub. Um, got the grill up to about 325, 350 degrees. Put it on there uh, breast side down, then we flipped it about halfway through the cook, monitored the temperatures, made sure that we weren't going too hot and too fast. Um, and once we reached about 166, 167 in the breast, we pulled it, rested for about 10, 15 minutes, and then sliced into it. As you heard, uh, if you're watching the video, the skin is crispy. Uh, the flavor is phenomenal. It's juicy, it's smoky, and it's tender, and it's everything you want in a chicken. Hey, before you leave, if you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It helps this channel a lot. So any help you can provide is greatly appreciated. Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. We'll see you next time.